Okay, hi, welcome. Welcome to camping vlogs. Kate and my cousin and I are going camping. We're going to Assateague, Assateague Island, which is in Maryland, and there are wild ponies. I haven't been camping in 10 years. I camped two years ago. Well, we camped quite a bit. And I did camping like festival camping, so really all you did was sleep in the tent. Yeah, whereas we're going to be cooking, having a fire pit. I'm so excited. Yeah, so we have a little tent. We've got Harley. Oh yeah, Harley's here. So Kate picked me up from Brooklyn yesterday, and then I stayed at Kate's last night. And then this morning we went to Target, got some last minute bits. Wow, wow. And we're driving. I do not like a gas station bathroom. I say nothing, I was just thinking how we don't have a song. And he said, she did it right on the top. I know, perfect. Holly gets car sick. But it's only, because we live in New York City, I think she's just not used to being in a car. So when Kate picked me up, she was sick. And the last time we went to Cape May, she was no, just we sick. We never cleaned up the car. Yeah, we did. I did. Oh, you cleaned the sick out? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Well, luckily we put a tarp down in the back. Yeah. But it's only the first couple of times she's in the car that she's sick, and then after that, the rest of the trip, she's good. Yeah. You okay? I'm sorry. Oh. It's okay. Harley. It happens. My little Harley. Good girl. Harley, are you going to see ponies? Has she oh. seen a horse before? Yeah, we went to that farm in Cape May and she saw a horse. Oh, yeah. I'll be the princess, it's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Tell all that I can say, cause now it's getting so much clearer. Okay, we've been driving for three hours. Oh, firewood? Great. <laughs> Lots of it. So when you go to the campsite, you have to take firewood from the state of Maryland so that we're not contaminating with insects or wood from another state. So we're stopping to get firewood now. There is an actual child selling the firewood to us. I'm so excited. for a walk on the beach now, put our toes in the sea. It is windy. It is cold. Woo! Holly, it's nice. Oh, look at how pretty the sky is. Yeah, it's so nice. You see the tip of our tent. Yeah, let's go for a walk.
Okay, so we walked along the beach for a little bit, but now we're walking back along the road and we're just cutting through here in search of ponies. Okay, so now we're back on a different road and this one goes to the Bayside camp. We're just walking and we heard rustling in the bushes. Loud like loud. <laughs> is it a person peeing? No. Or is it a pony? <laughs> Come on, go. What is it? Oh. What was it? I mean, what else could it have been? What? Like a pony or a bird, maybe? Yeah, it could have been a bird. It was a really big rustle. I know. Oh, it's a jelly. A jellyfish? No, I think it's a sea, like a sea cucumber. Not a sea cucumber. Oh my god, he like falls apart. He fell apart. No, that's algae. But what is he? He has like a jelly bit. He's pulling the algae in. He's trying to pull the algae in his hole. Wait, look, watch, watch, you'll pull it in again. Oh, he did it on purpose. Oh, is this now? Yeah, who's Prince? We're just walking back to our campsite and we found ponies. Are they drinking from the water fountain? Oh my god. They're right by the toilets. <laughs> Holly, it's okay. Holly, there's ponies. Oh, I love seeing the ponies. <laughs> I can smell pony oh, poo. I was about to say. Oh, I love it. I love the smell of horse poo. It's very, uh, must be one nearby. So Kate and I were looking on Instagram yesterday and someone had posted, beware of Chip, who is like a black stallion because he's charging and bucking at people. And he has a posse of female <laughs> horses that follow him around. Yeah. So maybe we'll see Chip. Well, I don't want to. Yeah. Then Ch I'm just see him from sweat. afar yeah, exactly. when they're galloping across the beach or something. Or if we're in the car. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, the knife works. How do we want chunks? Slices? Yeah, because we're going to put them on here. They're exciting. We like them and then we let them stay hot. And then we cook on them when they're hot. Yeah, the hummus cools the pepper down. A little bit of veggie sausage, a little bit of pepper, pepper, a little bit of courgette. We don't have seasonings, so the badness is the seasoning. This is good. Do you want to come up here? Come on then. Good girl. Holly, I think you're enjoying yourself. I'm just a bit tired. How's the sausage for you? A little bit spicy. It is spicy. Wild. Jacks. I screwed myself. I hear neighing. Me too. Can we go to the beach? 
I don't think they're on the beach. It sounded like it came from the beach. Really? How did no one else hear that? And then we'll... I'll just quickly run and see if this horse is. Okay. Who has the cutest campsite? Us. Got some fairy lights, gonna make some s'mores. Can't leave it for too long. <laughs> I could only find mini marshmallows <laughs> that were vegan. So. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's already melting? Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> Don't look at <it> yet. <laughs> They just go so quick. Mm. They're so little, I guess. <laughs> Is she trying to get in? She, Harley's just put herself to bed again. She's gone in the tent of her own accord. I think she likes the tent. <laughs> I have it everywhere. <laughs> It's all over my hands. <laughs> but you've got to get it in there. Well, I'm going to get like they're fun. expanding. They're getting toasty on the inside. <laughs> you know what we look like? Like we've just been to Willy Wonka's chocolate. <laughs> 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 we both just like, we're in there. It's just like, we've been in the chocolate milk tunnel or whatever it was. Okay, Kate's setting up the tent for night time. She's got her solar lantern up there. I'm just Sleeping bags. Harley is so tired. Okay, we're going on the final bathroom trip before bed. It is so dark. Oh, you can see the moon. You can go to where we're we going. Kate, don't go too far ahead. I'm amazed by these lights. I know, I can't believe they're this bright. Nice and cozy. Did you, is that your wine? Did you finish it? I can't remember. Mine's empty. I feel as though that one had some in it. Okay, I'll empty it out. Oh, you were able to get it open. These are comfortable enough. Yes. What an awkward angle. <laughs> This is how I slept. With a cardigan. Oh, they look silly, honey. I wrapped it like this. Okay, Harley and I are just going to the bathroom and then I think we'll go to the beachfront and just see if there are any ponies. Kate is still asleep. I honestly don't know how she slept. She was wearing just a t-shirt. Okay, I've just been to the bathroom, but I thought I'd show you the bathroom area. There is a water fountain. Water fountain there. These are the showers. They are cold only. Um, there's a water tap here. And then these are the toilets. I don't know what type of toilet it is. Basically, it's a tank underneath you. Yesterday? Yesterday, they weren't bad. And I was like, this is great. But today, they are pongy. And I had flashbacks of being at Latitude Festival, where by like day four, I had to like wear my hair as a mask over my nose and mouth and run in and out because it stank. I mean, when I went to festivals, it's like music festivals in the UK, those toilets, <laughs> that is not that bad. But, whew. I actually put my mask on, but it didn't really help that much. So this is the car park area. 
and Kate and I parked here. Well, I think we parked at the next parking bay. And then you, you actually have to walk all your stuff through the sand dunes. Um, so it was a lot of trips with all the stuff that we had. Because we could only carry so much and obviously I had to take Harley every time we went back and forth. Any horses on the road, Sol? Um, and we are in campsite 54, if anyone's interested. No, I don't see any horses. Let's go on the beach. Okay, we're almost at our campsite. So the group of campsites that we're in are Oceanside. So 51 to 57 and 58 to 65, you'll be right on the beach. We've just found fresh pony poo. That means they had to have walked through here late last night or early this morning because that was not there last night. Come on. So one part water, one part cold Should we like pour at the same time? How are we going to measure? <laughs> we'll just have to eyeball it. Do you want ice in it? Oh, do we have ice? It's a cooler. It's still ice. It's not like icy water. No. Okay, so I'll pour a little. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then do that with water. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then if it's too strong, you can add more water. Yeah. I was gonna have a banana on peanut butter. Yeah, I'd love a banana and peanut butter. Okay, so I got banana. And then a clementine to like wash it down. So, should we go for some walks? Yeah. Do some trails? If we go the other way uh -huh. and see what's down there. Yeah. Um, there is life of the dunes or something. I don't know if we're allowed on it with Harley, but I feel we can do it. Unless there's like big sign that says no golf. Don't you go on a hike, Carl? Oh, have you tried your coffee? No. Mm. It's good. Okay. I might need a little bit more water in it. Life of the Dunes Trail. A dog's allowed. That says pets and bikes prohibited. Oh, so then no. That's annoying. Oh, Holly. You can't go. So Kate and I are on vacation. So there's no real plan, but the plan is go for a nice walk and then go back to the campsite, grab some snacks, grab some water and go sit on the beach and bathe in the sun and read. And, and take um, a nice nap. We yeah, have a little nap because that's the best thing, napping in the sun. Gina was too cold last night. To yeah. Sleep. I mean, I really didn't sleep that much at all because I was what so did you cold do last night then, just lay there. Oh, I was texting Justin and then I was moving. I was like doing crunches in the sleeping bag to try and get warm. I don't know. I was like sweating. I don't understand <laughs> it. Okay, we're swapping sleeping bags and seeing if that helps. Because then maybe you would be cool. A bunny! Holly, how do you not see the bunny? Oh, oh, 
my god bunny you have a good life here that looks like fun okay so what wildlife have we seen bunny, horses horses bunny cardinal oh cardinal this morning a egret an egret we saw a puffer fish oh yeah a dead puffer fish Oh, Harley and I saw a sand crab this morning. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we need to see vultures. a snake. Oh, lots of vultures, yeah. I would love to see an osprey and a snake. More horses. Yeah, exactly. We're going to walk down this side because there were more wooden bits that go, like, you know how there Oh, that trail that we saw, yeah, yeah. There's a couple more that come off, so I'm hoping we can go down and walk down there. I wonder what it's from. Until we get to the water? Well, no, because it looks marshy there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we were just walking back from our hike. Well, it wasn't a hike, <laughs> from our walk. Oh, Harley can't go on any of the trails, so if you're coming and you're bringing a dog, just know you can't go on any of the trails with them. You can walk around, but like, I guess because it's a national park, yeah. you're not allowed on specific trails. But we're just walking back to the campsite and there's four horses. Oh, there's there's five. five. Shh. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's really nice that they're just allowed to be free on this island. Yeah, I love it. And that people seem to really respect, like not getting too close. Yeah. On Assateague Island, there are two main herds. One is on the Maryland side, which is the side we're on. And then one is on the Virginia side. So on the Virginia side, the ponies are actually owned by the Chincoteague Fire Company. And they hold an annual pony swim, where the ponies swim from Assateague Island over to Chincoteague, which is where we're going tomorrow. And then they auction the ponies off, which is not great. But I do like that the Maryland side just kind of looks after them and no one actually owns them okay we're still walking back and we've just seen more horses on the beach oh that might be the stallion that oh dark that's brown. chip Is so it? we need to be extra careful okay we're fine we can walk along the path right just give them extra wide bath so you're supposed to stay 40 feet away from the horses and we'll just give the stallion extra, extra. i mean we also have a dog i just don't want to aggravate them yeah 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 Right by that horse is soon Harley. Someone behind us isn't leaving. I think they want to get back to their car. Oh really? I wonder if they're like packing up to leave. <laughs> <laughs> These people. I mean yeah, they can't go to their car right now. That tan one with a light tail. That's looks, a foal. I was going to say it looks small. Yeah, and it's neck. Oh, it's a little baby. Maybe well, it's a big baby. Yeah, I mean, 73 horses was the 2020 total. I don't know when they do the count. I guess oh after full season. Out of him. That's a penis, Kate. <gasps> I've never seen a horse penis. You've never seen a horse penis? <laughs> Kate. Is it always out like that? No, it's not always out. <gasps> that really was like a fifth leg. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. Does he climb on does, does he climb on the back? Yeah, he would mount her. Jesus. I don't know, the penis went in. He's not feeling it. It's a beautiful hole. Oh, it's coming back out. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if they were naked. The babies would be so cute. Oh my god, Junior, come behind us. Right behind you. Oh my god. Let the female. Holly, no. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl, Holly. Praise her when she's quiet. Mm -hmm. What a good girl. Nice. You seeing ponies? Yeah? This is fun, Holly. Okay, we're gonna sit on the beach for a bit. <laughs> what, are you struggling? Oh. You just did it. I just hold it upside down. Oh. 
we have snacks, we have vodka sodas, we have our books. We're gonna make a little space for Harley behind us and put the towels so she has shade. But honestly, it's not that hot down here. Holly, look! Let me move your bed, because I know you like sitting on here. Yeah. Holly, look! Nice shade for you! Perfect. Yeah. Do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got cucumber vodka salsa, and we're sitting right in front of the ocean. I'm amazed how nice it is. There's like nobody near. Okay, Kate and I laid on the beach for a bit, had a little snooze on the beach. It was very, very windy down by the sea, but we're having lunch now and there's two people on horses riding on the beach. They stopped right in front of us, which is cool. Well, they're not wearing riding hats, which is very dangerous. both had a little nap and now we're heading to the car and we're gonna go for a drive and just see I don't know see what's here we're not really going anywhere in particular people drive your vehicle pull it to a parking spot at the bottom of the floor and then it's time to get more enthusiasm you said that with no enthusiasm what did you say to people drive your vehicle yeah <laughs> um, so Kate and I were just driving and we just pulled into the trail that we tried to go to earlier and there were those four horses there and now we're driving along the main road into the camping area uh, and there's just another horse on the side. Mum and Dad are 20 minutes from Ocean City and then they're going to charge for 20 minutes and then come here. Oh, so they're almost here? Yeah, they said probably an hour. Oh, he's going in. Oh. Was that the group we saw earlier? No, definitely not. I can't keep track of which one person. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Holly, thanks for getting hot. For making us go in the car. Oh, Holly, are you enjoying this? Good girl. Okay, we've stopped somewhere at the bay and we're just gonna go for a little walk. It is beautiful. Oh, we were over there yesterday? Yeah, so we just drove past the Bayside campground, so we could have been camping in this on this strip. Wow. We won't go too far to start with. Oh, good girl! Oh, good go! <laughs> good girl! So Kate's parents, my aunt and uncle, are on their way here. They're at the visitor center, so we're gonna go meet them there. So we're leaving the island just for a little bit. Not we'll go over the bridge. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Lovely, Harley. Oh, at least it wasn't in the car. <laughs> Oh, it's the, there's a park ranger and he's got a speaker. I think oh. he's trying to get the horses to move along. It's going behind us. Mm. <laughs> it's got muddy feet. Lights. What's he doing? 
Is he gonna try I to move them along? Oh. Oh my god. It's okay, be quiet. <laughs> oh, some of Hello. Hello. Yeah. Holly, be quiet. <laughs> oh, are they getting pulled over? It might be for stopping the traffic. Oh. Really? Oh, well, I mean, they didn't move. Yeah. And they could have gone. Oh, he looks pissed. Well, I guess not, not to block the roadway. Do you remember in Australia? I was going to say, wouldn't you be nervous you're going to hit the horse yeah, if they're standing they right in the riddle? Yeah. Fall to the animals. Okay, we've just been at uh, a farm brewery and had some blueberry seltzer and they have some goats. Yeah. Or sheep Probably yeah. I bet that's a female, isn't you it? You look very different. Hello. Oh wow. Hello. Kate and I are back from the brewery. The brewery was so nice. The sun is setting. Kate's doing the grill. I'm chopping veggies. A bunch of children and a squeaky dog have arrived. Oh, okay. But they're quite funny. I feel like, is that too much? We're gonna rotate it. Rotate what? Wait, what's too much? Is it gonna burn really quickly? I don't know. Oh yeah. Tell me when. Thank you. I got um, a packet of ranch out to have with spicy. Okay, here's our dinner. Uh, we had an accident in the fire. The grill uh, came undone and all the veggies fell in the fire pit and we had to pick them out. But we had some extra eggplant and we have the sausages, which is good. So we're just doing pita bread, veggies, veggie sausages, hummus. Same as last night. Yeah. Thanks for doing this with me. Melting the chocolate on the graham crackers. And then we're gonna toast them. Toast our mini marshmallows because I couldn't find big vegan marshmallows. And we're having more s'mores. Okay, Kate and I have switched sleeping bags. So hopefully this one's a little bit warmer. How are you, Kate, in your t-shirt? Great. <laughs> I feel completely fine in this. I'm gonna snuggle down. Good morning, Kate and I are up for sunrise. Kate just went to the bathroom. And a dog came running out. And you know us. He has no leash. Hi, no collar, I mean. So I just picked him up and we're gonna try to find his owners. But nobody's up yet, so Yeah, no one's up yet. I mean he's one of the dogs from the group over here with all the children. I guess maybe he slipped his collar and then was out all night. So we've got him in a blanket. Yeah, he was shivering. So we wrapped him up. He's so cute. Hello. And he just let me pick him up. I think he knew, like, because he came to me, he knew something was wrong. So calm, so sweet. I mean, someone will be up soon. So we'll wait. Well, we can watch the sunrise from here. Yeah. You see how pretty? Kate, there are so many dolphins. I know, it's a big pod. 
There's room for the back. Oh yeah. Dude, that must be a separate port than that one. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. I look like my hair is glued to my head. We haven't showered in three days. Yeah, we haven't showered in a while. Um, our little friend went home. We found the owner. All's fine. I know. I mean... Whatever. We're looking at a sunrise and there's dolphins. In, what is it called? Chincoteague? Chincoteague. Chincoteague, which is just south of here. Is that in Virginia? Yes. Okay, it's in Virginia. Oh, and then Kate's brother, my cousin, is also coming with his puppy Milo. So we get to see Milo. Okay, we're making a coffee shop stop at a surf shop. Okay, we have coffee, Kate has a bagel, I have a blueberry muffin, we're ready for road tripping again. Oh, that's good, she put a lot of caramel in. Oh, yeah, I saw you asked that, that's smart. Mm. Oh, that's good. Holly, how are you doing? Okay, we're at Chincoteague Beach. It's quite a lot of people. And there's no dogs anywhere in Chincoteague, right? Yeah, no dogs allowed. No dogs, so they're at the Airbnb, which honestly I think Harley's quite happy about because she can have a nap. And uh, we've just found out, we drove past NASA on the way here and there's a rocket launching tonight, which we'll be able to see from the Airbnb, which is kind of cool. So it's supposed to launch, but it's been delayed seven times, they said or something. Auntie Lynn said today's weather. Oh, Spot she said on. it was good weather for a rocket, so, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, he went under. Oh, look at his little tail. Oh, look at him. He's coming back up. Sorry, Holly, you can have yours you when you get back. Really. <laughs> and then, um, the then, oh, then it's got something. So. Yummy. Preparing. I don't know. Something went wrong. You'd be very embarrassing. So, Uncle Mark is watching the news. We've got a live stream that we were waiting to hear about. And otherwise, we're just waiting. What's it say? Oh Milo, we've been waiting a long time for the rocket. It's like the deepest part. Yeah. Oh, it's like the deepest part. What? That's so funny. Someone said, "Is it? It is cloudy where I am. Are we able to see it through the clouds?" And someone said, 
where were they thrown? Because they put <laughs> through the wrong <laughs> So they're going to wait until like the 10 minutes to, which is 43 minutes. They're then going to take, start the countdown again to get it down to three minutes with the hope that they can still do it. But, but at three minutes, they'll then stop it if they obviously can't. Well, I don't know. It's mm. hard to say, you know. One of the guys with their tripods just told everyone that up there is the International Space Station. Oh, there. Oh, I can't wait. This is the International Space Station. That's kind of cool. We're waiting for a rocket and then the space station goes past. That is fantastic. I've never. Yeah, Right now it's 262 miles up in the sky. Yeah. And you can see right here. Oh, you can see where it is. Yeah, that it's just over like. And how many miles per hour does it do? It's doing 17,144 miles per hour. Who, who said it's starting? A kid. <laughs> so, it's not happening. It's not happening because <laughs> of the weather in Bermuda. Is it Bermuda? Yeah, it's going over Bermuda. The weather's bad, so it's postponing. There's too many rain droplets, they said. Oh. I mean, this was fun. This was fun. Turn the reasons for Good morning! So we are leaving Chikatique today. Chikatique. I knew I was going to call it Chikatique, that's what I thought it was originally. Um, it was fun. We did a nice nature walk yesterday um, and Matt, my cousin, took his like proper like wildlife camera. So I'll insert some pictures of the wildlife we saw. And then so today we're driving back but we're going to stop at Assateague on the way so that my cousin Matt and his girlfriend can see the horses at Assateague. Um, Chincoteague was weird. I would say if you're bringing a dog, don't. maybe don't come here because we, I mean, we are, I guess, a little bit weird. We take our dogs everywhere. And we called several restaurants and they would not allow dogs, which was kind of weird. But we ended up going to Pico's Tecaria. last night. Pico's Tecaria. It was amazing. Yeah, Good but I had to ask if dogs were allowed and the guy was like, oh, uh, uh, I don't know. And went and got the manager and then the manager came out and he was like, are you the girl with the dog? And I was like, yes. And he was like, they're fine to sit outside as long as they don't bark. So but then we had little Milo who was oh, whining. Yeah. <laughs> Milo was whining. So he had to have a little greenie. So yeah, we're stopping off at Assateague and then we're driving back to Kate's house and I'm staying there and working from home from there for a day. And then I'll be back in Brooklyn. Back to city life. Yeah. There's Nessa. Interesting. How old do you think it is? I don't know, it's so tiny. They just like roam the island. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. 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 Oh. So the the woman over there on Pony Patrol said that that foal was born on Friday. Oh my god. So I've been using horse and pony interchangeably because Assateague Island does, so they call them the Assateague horses, but they also call them wild ponies. 
but I think that they're just ponies because I think for it to be a horse it has to be over 14 two hands. So the ponies aren't actually wild ponies, they're technically feral that have resorted to wild ways that so they were domesticated and have just been left in the wild. And there are different theories on how the ponies arrived on the island. Local folklore is supposed to be that the Assateague ponies were survivors of a shipwreck off the Virginia coast, but I don't think that they've found anything to confirm that that's where the ponies came from. So the National Park explains that the ponies were likely brought to Assateague as it's a barrier island, and so um, the owners could then avoid fencing laws and taxation of livestock. Okay. Is it a car? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Milo! Milo, don't go! <laughs> oh my god! Uh oh, he's gonna need a bath! Oh, it's not like deep at all. No, Oh, Harley! Look at <laughs> Harley! <laughs> Poor thing! <Yeah. laughs> Harley's good! Good girl! He's a so good! <gasps> Body slam. Look at <laughs> Good girl. Ready for a long one? Ready, set, no, Harley, 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 Harley. <laughs> you said long one. Oh my god. Oh. Harley got it. Wow, the victor.